Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here uh, with Gomrath Games. It's been a long time since I have made a video. I've been getting all my characters, finishing their order hall campaigns, and getting each of them their class exclusive mounts. So that's why I've been gone for a while. But I'm back and I'm here to talk to you about the best pets from Raiding with Leashes 5, the Cuticlism. Now, getting these pets was a little bit challenging. I do have, I think I have 14 max level characters. And it took me running every raid, um, or the, these five raids, on eight different characters before I was able to get all of them to drop. And I got multiples of a few, um, but Dragon Soul was the one that actually took the longest to get the one that drops off Spine of Deathwing and then Deathwing himself. Those ones took quite a bit of farming. Uh, those were the last two I actually got, so. But without further ado, I wanna talk about the absolute best pets of Raiding with Leashes 5. Now, um, this is totally subjective, but I think these pets could do pretty well in PvP. And the first one I wanna talk about is the Unstable Tendril. Now, the Unstable Tendril drops off of Deathwing himself, um, and I think it's a fairly low drop chance, but he's pretty solid, and he's got a, a decent, uh, decent kit that you can use. So. What I would run him if I was running PvP is I'd probably run Scorched Earth, Deep Burn, and Cauterize. So we have some synergy right here between Scorched Earth and Deep Burn. Uh, we have Dragon type damage, we have Elemental type damage, and then we have a pretty big heal plus you know half of whatever we take as a hit. And he's got a fairly large health pool and quite a bit of power. I mean, he's slow, 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 but uh, I think potentially he really could be a workhorse, like just dishing out a lot, a lot of damage. So he's my first, uh, he's one of my first picks. Now this next one here, the Faceless Minion, um, I really wish he was a tiny bit faster, um, that there was possibly an SS breed, but there's a power power breed, I haven't gotten it yet, but he's got some really, really cool synergy. Now he has Foreboding Curse, which reduces their speed and makes dots tick harder. And then he's got Tentacle Stab. Now, Tentacle Stab only to set, it's a, a, like a really kind of crappy dot, but it says while poisoned, the target has a 10% chance to harm themselves with a, while attacking. Now, I haven't tested this yet. I haven't tested it in PvP, but I'm not sure if they hurt themselves instead of hurting you or they have a chance to hurt themselves as well or if it like will entirely redirect their own attack at themselves. Um, but it's adding RNG to PvP, uh, which can be infuriating sometimes and we'll see how it works or even if it works because uh, sometimes new abilities on pets don't actually work that the way that they're supposed to. But uh, He's got those two. And then he's got Void Portal, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, the user jumps through a Void Portal, avoiding the opponent's attack, but dealing a certain amount of damage to themselves. And now I'm not exactly sure what that is. This is data error, which means that uh, rematch doesn't know. And it uh, just varies upon each of these different you know, power ratings. So I'm gonna be hunting for that power power um, in the upcoming weeks, but I think this guy could go really well uh, with a like a, a dot team. So we'll, we'll see how he plays through. Um, now the next one I wanna talk about is the Faceless Mind Lasher. Um, he comes from uh, Dragon Soul. Uh, yeah, cause this guy comes from, yeah, he's Bastion of Twilight. This guy's Dragon Soul. Now, a couple months ago, Hero put out a video how Worst Fear was broken. Anyway, I assume Blizzard saw that video and they fixed it because this guy has Worst Fear. And I went out and I tested it in the wild um, and it worked fantastically. Now, um, I was running this guy with a black, uh, a black sheep or an Elwyn sheep. Um, any of the pets that have Soothe work really nicely because what you do is you throw out the Soothe and they won't fall asleep until the next round. And so you throw out Sleuth, you switch into the Mind Lasher, and um, you can do Inner Vision to increase your damage by 100%, and then you can hit them with Worst Fear while they're still asleep, if they haven't swapped out. Um, so considering that this ability has kind of not worked for the longest time, um, I'm gonna be trying it in PvP later tonight, and we'll see if I can't do any ridiculous damage because when I was out in the wild using it, um, inner vision with the worst fear was hitting for 1380 damage, uh, which is basically like you know, that's more health than this guy has. So, unless you're going up against a 
um, a magic type pet or a mechanical type pet, you almost will one shot anybody. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm not sure if a basic attack, if I'd be running the Scion Shock, because that can hit fairly hard, or to be running Tentacle Slap, Intervision Tentacle Slap, that could be doing some serious damage as well. I think I'd probably choose Tentacle Slap over that. He also has Uncertainty, which increases your critical strike by 100%, but reduces your hit chance by 25%. So mm, I'm not sure if I'd ever ever really use that, especially over Mind Vision, which only has a one turn cooldown. So this guy has the potential to really, really put out a lot of damage. Now, um, the Firelands pets, they have some really, really cool potential with two of them, okay? Or we'll, actually with all three of these here are pretty solid. So the uh, Cinder, uh, Cinder Web Recluse, he does have double heals. So um, he's not really fast enough to make Paralyzing Venom useful, but he can run Brittle Webbing with Leech Life and then with Consume. And so what he could do is Brittle Webbing, you Leech Life, you Consume, you Leech Life, you're Brittle Webbing, you consume, you leech life, you just go like that. And, um, you know, unless you're going up against an aquatic type pet, you really could stay along for quite a long time with this guy where, where you got two attacks uh, that both are both healing you. So he's got potential to be useful, possibly. Now, the infernal uh, Pyre Claw here, this little guy. I think he's got a lot of potential to be really, really powerful with any Call Lightning users. Now, the reason I say that is he has um, Greater Sting, which you poison an entire enemy turn um, for two rounds. And so let's say you use somebody who has Call Lightning. For example, if you get uh, the Zephyrian Prince, from the Throne of the Four Winds, he has Call Lightning. And there's a lot of pets in the game that are pretty good with Call Lightning, maybe a Moth. But um, what you can do is if you throw out Wild Winds, Call Lightning, and then you switch back into this guy here, you poison them and then you spam Cleave, or you can uh, either have like, you know, your Flame Breath and then spam Cleave, you will be doing so much dot damage from your Call Lightning hitting them all from the poison and then hitting them an additional time from the cleave and then with the dot from possibly the prince he he really would synergize incredibly well with a call lightning team so uh i mean he'd be totally neutralized by any sandstorm user or any pets with uh, shell shield but uh really kind of cool potential to pull off some fun stuff with him uh, i wish his breeds were a little bit better but overall i think he's a really solid pet um I'm, I'm excited to see, to try to play him in some PvP, uh, depending on how hard the meta is. Um, and then Surger. So this guy right here, eh, I'm not a giant fan of, but uh, he's kind of cool because he's the fourth fastest pet in the game. He's got a 357 speed rating. So the only things that are faster than him are uh, bunnies. Uh, the Nordishal Wisp has the same speed as him. And then the Cheetah Cub and uh then of course flyers with their racials but uh baseline you know he's just really really fast he's got pretty low attack and pretty light health um he's kind of cool you could run a kamikaze build switch between stone rush and body slam and then either surge or stone shot i don't know but he's got the yeah you know he's got he's got potential i use that word too much but he could be cool uh, the last pet, the last two pets I want to talk about, uh, this one comes from Throne of the Four Winds, and I mentioned him earlier um, that he's got, you know, he's got Call Lightning, um, and then he also has a dot. Now, his dot only lasts for two rounds, and it's a frontline dot, meaning that, like, if the pet switch and just switches into the back line, this dot is still active on the front line, not the, the back line. So, um, he's decent, not anything amazing. Um, but he does he does have a switch and uh he's got fairly high attack and uh fairly high speed especially for not a speed speed for a power speed he's got high volt but he's got low health so uh i think he's a pretty low drop chance though because running the raid eight different times it only dropped once so it may take you a while to get it um but those are, I think, really the, the top picks from the rating with leashes. Um, when you get the achievement, you finally end up and you get the uh, amalgamation of destruction, 
which is a clone of the amalgamations that you fight on the spine of Deathwing. Um, he's pretty cool. He's got a decent power rating. He's got like mediocre health and he's really slow. Uh, and not a ton of self synergy with not really a basic attack, but you know, I'm sure you can make him work. Um, you know, there's a lot, a lot of people who are more clever than me, especially when it comes to pet battles, but, uh, yeah, he's not he's not a top pick that I would choose. But this is, is a fun achievement to get, guys. It's always fun hunting rare pets. And especially over the next like couple weeks, I think these pets will be really, really expensive on the auction house. Um, like Prince, uh, this guy right here, a Zephyrian Prince. On my server, the cheapest I've seen it is for 100K. So I'm now that I have the achievement, I'm probably going to be selling the pets right now for those people who don't want to farm and don't want to wait. Um, and then I'll farm them in the future. But uh, yeah, that's Rating with Leashes 5, the Cuticlism. Uh, if you found this video helpful, like rating is always appreciated. It was a pleasure gaming with you guys and take care.